What's up guys, this is Matt and up for review today is the Toshiba slash OCZ Revo Drive 400, also called the RD400. For those of you who don't know, OCZ was acquired by Toshiba a few years ago, and for the most part, Toshiba has been leading OCZ back down the path of greatness. So the RD400 is an NVMe PCIe based SSD and an M.2 form factor. And for those of you that don't have M.2 support on your motherboard, for $20 extra, OCZ offers an add-in board that connects the drive directly through any PCIe 4X or larger slot. The RD400 comes in a multitude of sizes ranging from 128GB all the way up to 1TB. I have the 512GB version with the add-in card, and let me tell you, this is the most advanced and fastest storage solution I have laid my hands on. OCZ rates this drive at up to 2600MB per second second read and 1600 megabytes per second write, and unlike many more traditional SSDs, this drive can withstand a ridiculous amount of writes. OCZ actually rates this drive at 162 gigabytes per day for 5 years, meaning it's rated for almost 300 terabytes of total bytes written. Because this is such an advanced drive, it does come in at a relatively steep price, with the 512 gigabyte model coming in at $309 for the drive itself and $329 for the version with the add-in board. In terms of competition, this SSD's biggest competition is the Intel 750 series SSD and Samsung 950 Pro. Though the 750 from what I have seen does outperform the RD400, it is also considerably more expensive and does not benefit from the ridiculously compact M.2 format. From what I've seen in my tests and others testing is that in many of the performance tests, the RD400 trades blows with the 950 Pro at a slightly lower price. OCZ was able to achieve this lower price through the use of Toshiba's 15 nanometer MLC planar flash array, which reinforces the idea that Toshiba acquiring OCZ was a great idea allowing the now combined companies to share technologies developed by each other. I ran the drive through a few different benchmarks and tests and here are the results. So, is the RD400 right for you? Well, I think if you're an enthusiast looking for a very fast storage solution at a relatively reasonable price, I think this is a very good option. I also think that most any application you use this drive for, you will be satisfied whether using it for a boot drive, scratch disk, or even general purpose storage you need to access quickly and frequently. Overall, the Toshiba slash OCZ Revo Drive 400 is not cheap, but it is definitely worth the money for those of you who are in the market for a premium storage solution. I actually love this drive so much that it has gone straight into my personal rig. So yeah guys, this wraps this video up. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech and PC related content. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.